swas major wait this is swas major and next to it is swas minor and this is the iliac fossa with the iliac muscle the swas major and iliac muscle join together below the inguinal inguinal ligament to form swas no iliac swas muscle iliac this is inguinal ligament i'll tell you this this big common artery iliac. yes common iliac artery which has two branches external iliac artery and internal iliac artery okay and I'll t this muscle right here is obturator uh, internus okay obturator internus there's a canal here which is obturator canal so the nerve going through the obturator canal is obturator nerve that's done and from here there's a nerve right next and then right, right here that's the femoral nerve and this is the inguinal ligament this uh, this is the external iliac artery after passing the inguinal ligament it is called femoral artery okay so there's femoral artery femoral nerve and wait femoral artery has two branches a superficial branches which just goes down there's a deep deep branch right here which splits straight away into two different arteries mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, is that all? Okay, that's all. This this bit is called one second. The you can see it's forming a triangle. It's called the femoral triangle. Femoral triangle has the top, the apex of it is the inguinal ligament. I mean the top bit of it's in, inguinal ligament. The what do you call it? The lateral side is serratus. The medial side is adductor longus. Okay, and there should be a thing for the the most medial there should be lacuna vessorum lacuna vessorum is to do with vessels so is uh, lacuna vessorum has femoral artery and femoral vein in it there's next to the muscles here is lacuna musculorum it has femoral nerve and this muscle which is the iliacus muscle iliacus psoas muscle okay that's done then there's this uh, i'll tell you the anterior side of the uh, leg anterior side has the longest this long muscles which is serratus serratus then actually there's a fascia right here fascia right here the fascia here is called il uh, tensor fascia latae and it ends in the iliotibial tract okay now i'll tell you the anterior muscles okay serratus then there's there's four muscles here with the known as quadriceps femoris this is rectus femoris with the top one is rectus femoris next to it, there are two muscles this is on the medial side so this is vastus medialis this is vastus lateralis and if you you can pull up uh, rectus femoris and there's a muscle in between which is called vastus intermedialis okay that's the anterior side Uh, the anterior side is innervated by femoral nerve femoral nerve and femoral artery okay and pectineus is pectineus is a muscle which splits the anterior side from the medial side so that's double innervation i told you the anterior side was by femoral nerve the medial side is all by obturator nerve so pectineus has both obturator and femoral um, innervating it and there's a muscle right like next to uh, pectineus here which is obturator externus internus is here externus is just below it okay now we'll go to the medial side the medial uh, medial side is all to do with adductus so the name should have adductus in them this should be this is adductor longus this is adductor brevis the biggest is adductor magnus so adductor magnus brevis and longus adductor magnus is what split oh, and this is all innervated by obturator nerve adductor magnus is the boundary between the medial side and the posterior side so it has double innervation so posterior side is innervated by sciatic medial by obturator so magnus has both obturator and um, sciatic innervation okay that's done now we'll go back to the one second till get it okay this is the back side this is the gluteal region gluteal region the biggest muscle is gluteal maximus after you can you, after you remove a uh, maximus this is medius and the next one is kind of removed here is minimus here so maximus medius minimus 
Maximus is, Maximus is innervated by inferior gluteal nerve. Medius and minimus by superior gluteal nerve. There's a muscle here, right here, it's piriformis. Piriformis is splitting a greater sciatic notch into suprapiriformis and infrapiriformis. And there's uh, things coming out from suprapiriformis and infrapiriformis. There's more things coming out from infrapiriformis. Supra only has superior gluteal nerve and vessels. Um, then there should be, uh, yeah, that's it. The inferior has um, uh, sciatic nerve, so, uh, inferior gluteal nerve, whatever. Then other things, you, you need to read this later. And that, uh, yeah, and this is uh, sciatic nerve. In, sciatic nerve is what innervates the posterior muscles of the leg. And okay, so piriformis is done. You can see there's three, it looks, uh, can you see? There's, I think you need to go, there's three muscles right here. Well, not muscles, muscles, two muscles here and a tendon. This tendon is from obturator internus. So tendon of the obturator internus splits these two muscles into gemellus superior and gemellus inferior. They're like twin muscles. And there's a muscle here which is a kind of quadrangular shape. It's quadractus femoris. Okay, that's done. This is finished for the gluteal region. Now we'll get to the posterior side of the leg. The posterior side of the leg. One second. Okay. One second, one second. Okay. This is... I need to actually turn it a bit more. Uh, okay, one second. Okay. This is semi-membranous. You can see it's, it's look, it feels and looks like a membrane. So semi-membranous. The one with the long tendon is semi-tendinous. And this is, this is bicep femoris. It has two heads, long head and short head. And all of this is innervated by sciatic nerve. Okay. And let's go to the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. Anterior compartment of the leg has tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior. The, uh, this, uh, the muscles in the anterior compartment of the legs, they are all extensors. So this is extensor halus is longus. This is extensor is long uh, is longus because it has long and it's halus because it's going to the big toe. This is extensor digitorum longus because it's going to the digits. Then. Uh, if, if you look at the uh, digitorum, there's something coming from here. I think this peroneal tertius. Okay. Now, uh, I'll go to uh, the leg here is split into anterior, lateral, and posterior. I'll go to the lateral side. Oh, yeah. And the, nerves were, the nerve which supplies the anterior compartment of the leg is deep peroneal nerve or deep fibular nerve. The lateral is innervated by superficial peroneal nerve or superficial fibular nerve. The posterior is by tibial nerve. And tibial nerve and um, uh, common fibular nerve or peroneal nerve is a branch from sciatic nerve. We can show you from the back. I'll show you the lateral side first. Okay. There's only two muscles in the lateral side and it's this, these two muscles. Like as you can see, this is just going to the fifth metal tarsus. So this is a this is peroneal brevis. This one goes from here all the way to the first metal tarsus. So it's peroneal longus. Okay, that's the lateral side and it's innervated by a superficial fibular nerve. Now we'll go to the posterior side. Okay, posterior side. One second. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, uh, this is the posterior. Okay, this is posterior side. Posterior side has gastroenemius and it has two heads as a medial and medial and lateral head. And if you uh, take away, if you remove a gastroenemius, you can see this muscle which is soleus. And there should be another one coming, which this one is called plantaris. And here, this is the sciatic nerve, and you can see it's split into two which is tibial nerve and common fibular nerve, peroneal nerve, okay. And uh, after this, the deep, the deep muscles of the, these are flexes at the, flexes at the back. This is tibialis posterior, there's anterior here and tibialis posterior here. And there should be, this is going to the, where is it going? 
and that's not it right yeah this is going to the hallucis so this is it said the back so it's a flexor flexor